Greetings. In this segment, I'm going to talk about the idea of flow and fluidity in Tai Chi. The idea is we want continuous, non-stop motion. So very commonly, we see the idea of wave hands like clouds, uh, particularly for beginners, this is what they know of Tai Chi. So we have this fluid motion going from single whip. This is what's commonly seen with Tai Chi, very fluid motion and many people when they begin their Tai Chi they think, oh that's what I want, I want to be fluid, I want to move like this water, which is what we all want, but we really want that to be the result of appropriate movement and mindset and not what we're really looking for. Let it be the result of your action as opposed to trying to be fluid. If you try to be fluid, you end up with what I call park Tai Chi. It looks very nice, looks very flowery, but it might have, have no substance. So we want to have substance in our movement. So there's a very simple exercise that we can do to help us understand this. So do this along with me. What I want you to do is just stand very relaxed, hands in front. Always the top of the head feel like it's going upward. Shoulders relaxed, hands always alive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pretend there's like a clock here. Starting at 6 o'clock, we're going to go from 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock, take a pause, then come back the other direction. Now you can do it with just your arms. It's just an exercise. But really what I'd prefer you do is do a little shift and turn just so it really feels like your Tai Chi movement. Now the key to it, any exercise that I may show you is that to really pay attention to the way it feels. We're not concerned with the look of the movement. So bring your hands down to six o'clock and you're gonna turn, let the hands come around all the way to six o'clock. Pause for a moment, go the other direction. Okay, so that's six o'clock to six o'clock. Now this time I want you to come up to 12 o'clock, pause there, down to six o'clock, pause there, and then back again. Okay, so starting at six, you're gonna come all the way up to 12, pause, down to six, pause, up to 12, pause, down to six, pause, okay? So now we're gonna stop at nine and three o'clock. So you're gonna one, two, one, two, okay? So, one, pause, two, pause. One, pause, two, pause. Okay, now we're gonna cut that in half again. So it was one, two, so now you're gonna stop four times going up, four times coming down. Don't worry about being completely accurate with how far it is. Okay, so with the idea of a clock, that's stopping it like every seven and a half minutes, approximately, right? So now we're going to cut that in half one more time. So the basic idea here is you're going to count to four at the quarter, four at the quarter, or move about every inch or so. And pause at each spot. So pause, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
Good. Okay, so now of course in Tai Chi we don't stop like that. But now what I want you to do is you're going to draw your circle in both directions and you're going to pay attention to each and every one of those places you just paused at, that every inch or every couple minutes on a clock without stopping. But notice every single one of them. So start at the bottom and begin your circle, noticing every single one of those pauses without actually pausing. Okay, now we're going to come back again because I like to feel things in different ways so you really understand what's going on. So let's come back once again going 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock without thinking about all of those spots that you pause it. See if you can do that. It's a little hard once you've done it, but give it a try. So you're going to go 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Good. Now, one more time, go back to hitting, pausing at every one of those spots without actually pausing. So you're just moving one inch at a time, and as soon as you get to that spot, you start uh, going to the next one. Good. So I'm not going to tell you what you should be feeling because there's nothing you should be feeling. But pay attention the difference on the way that it feels. I will say that it will feel like it has more substance. You're not in a rush. Now the, the benefit of this as well is not only to be more fluid without trying to be fluid, but it also gives you the ability to change, which is crucial in the practice of Tai Chi when we use application. The ability to change at any moment without disrupting our center. So if I come back again to my single whip and do my cloud hand sequence, I could stop here. I could stop here. Here. So this is really what my cloud hands looks like. This also has the benefit of having whole body movement. I know my whole body is moving in every inch, but then if I don't pause, I still have that feeling that I'm moving one inch at a time. So I can change if I need to. If something is going on, I can make a change. So same with single web. One inch at a time, whole body movement. So this is the idea of finding the fluidity in your form, the continuity in your form, but really breaking it down to one inch movement at a time. It helps you with whole body movement, finding fluidity and continuity in your form without trying to just look flowery, have it look a certain way. In Tai Chi Chuan, we are not concerned with the way it looks. We are absolutely concerned with the way it feels.